Alrighty, good morning, welcome back. We got some beef plate ribs on the plate in front of us today, or the pan, I should say, in front of us. Uh, these are real easy to prep up, um, just a little more time consuming than uh, pork ribs, but all you do is take the silver skin off the back. Uh, I cut cool, some of the fat, just the hard fat, I left the, some of the softer fat on, and then uh, washed them, patted them dry, and for a binder today we use this uh, Liam Perrine's Worcestershire sauce. And then uh, I went on with like a really thin coat of this Killer Hogs All Purpose Rubs just for kind of a base flavor, a base layer of flavor. And then I used some kosher salt and some black pepper and just sprinkled it on there and you know every side. So besides that, uh, we're going to cook these on the Rec Tech today. And we're going to cook at 225 and we're going to use the Smoke Daddy Cold Smoker. So stay tuned and I'll give you a peek once we got them on the Rec Tech. Alrighty, so we are back. I uh, just put the ribs on. I'll give you a quick peek at them. There they be. You can see that uh, Smoke Daddy Cold Smoker does just an awesome job putting out some smoke. You might also notice that uh, I have a water pan in there. Uh, I started doing this on cooks when I don't, you know, open the, the meat up to, you know, to spray. Because what I'm going to do with these now is I'm going to shut this down, close it, leave it at 225, and I'm going to leave this thing shut for four hours. So my idea with the water pan is sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but the idea there is pretty obvious, but it's, you know, to keep moisture in the meat. So besides that, just on a quick side note, we'll take you over to the smoke daddy cold smoker Whoa, there she be uh, real simple way I like to get this going you know I see quite a few questions sometimes on how do you get it going mine always goes out well what I like to do is I like to take the uh, you know three four pieces good sized chunks of a uh, hardwood lump charcoal get those going leave the cover off let them burn then add my wood and then uh, throughout the cook you know I'll add you know I'll add charcoal and wood to the cook so besides that um, I got the pump on high right now what I'm gonna do Turn it down, probably to about halfway, and uh, that way the, the wooden charcoal in there will go a lot longer and it won't smoke so heavy and thick like that. But besides that, I'll see you in four hours. Alrighty, we are back and we are four hours in. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the ribs. Yeah, that is a, a big hunk of meat. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say they're probably nowhere near done. It's probably got like another four hours to go yet. Let's go ahead and pump this in. Check the internal tap. You know, with beef ribs, you know, I'm looking for right around probably close to 200. Um, so yeah, it's only at 150 right now. It still goes through pretty dang rough. 150, 160. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down probably for another two hours, and uh, I'll check back in. Alrighty, so we are back. We have been on. Are the beef ribs have been on for a total of seven and a half hours now? Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Oh yeah, looking. Looking pretty beefy. Let's go ahead and uh, take an internal temp reading here. Right at the thick of thing. That's pretty thick meat right there. I don't know if you can see that. We've got about 185, 186. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Probably going to let it go for another 45 minutes or an hour. And then uh, what I'm going to do once it gets to about 200, I'm going to wrap it up in tin foil, let it rest for a half hour. And then I will check back in when we're cutting into it. So let's see. Alrighty, so we are back. Time to eat, just unwrapped them, looking good. So we're, real quick, we are gonna go over to cook times. We did six hours at 225, then two and a half hours at 275. And uh, when I pulled them off, the internal right about 200 degrees, wrapped them up with some tin foil, covered them up with some towels, let them rest for about a half an hour, and here we are. So besides that, I'm gonna cut these up and we'll check back in. Alrighty, so we are back. Uh, just got done cutting them up. Give you a quick look here, real quick, at one of the ribs. Um, <laughs> I mean, just look at the juice pouring out of it. This is a good cook. And uh, yeah, I already tried the one here on the right. It was fantastic. But besides that, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, catch you on a flippity flop.